One, two, three, that's the time. One, two, three, please don't bounce. No, no, just a moment. The bounce is most unfortunate. Please remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're learning the wall. Now let's try it again. One, two, three, back to three. Please don't bounce. One, two, three. You're shuffling, Mr. Adams. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's quite good. One, two, three. Better, Mr. Cottle. One, two, three. 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 One, two. All right. That's splendid. Now we've conquered the fundamentals and we're ready for the turn. If you'll just take your partners and form a circle, please. Now, let us approach this new dance with freshness, gaiety, and a decided degree of abandon. And Miss Ponsonby, if you please. The elementary position is the male partner A faces the female partner B. The male partner A places his arm around the waist. Around the waist? Around the waist. Oh! I don't believe it. Oh, I see. I see. It's so daring. It's not daring. Only modern, European, graceful, novel. Now, let's all try it. Well, partners face each other. Gentlemen, place your arms around the lady's waist. Bravely, bravely. It takes courage at first. One, two, three. That's the way. It's almost nine o'clock. The Providence coach leaves in an hour. Oh, to be sure. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be all for tonight. We'll continue the lesson next Wednesday evening. Oh, Professor, couldn't we do just one more turn? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, but I really must go now. I'm going to my aunt's for the weekend. Oh. Amanda, the rest. Good night, Professor. Good night. Good night, Good night Professor. Good night. Good night. Well, the other one, did you? Good night, Professor. Good night. Thank you, Ponsonby. Good night. Good night. You told me to remind you your aunt wanted her umbrella returned. Oh, thank you. I almost forgot. Do you mind if I... No, you give it to me. I can fold that better than you. Thank you. I'll straighten up the room. You'd better hurry. I'm told those coaches leave exactly on the minute. Oh, yes. Oh, just a moment. My music box. Have you ever traveled on the Providence Four Horse Coach, Mrs. Tucker? Mercy, no. I wouldn't tempt the fate. The very danger of it that appeals to me. Speed, excitement.
Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Have you lost something, sir? I bet I did, matey. My gold lucky piece. Had it these 40 years, man and boy. Oh. Bless you, matey. It isn't every fine gentleman that oh, would... Well, that's perfectly all right. I've plenty of time to catch my coach. Are you sure you lost it here? Well, I think I dropped it just about over in... Oh, look, I wonder if that can be... There you are. Well, that completes the crew of the bouncing bets. I've already finished those. Hmm. You call that sharp? What? Bolton. Aye, aye, sir. Finish them cutlasses first or I'll slit your gullet. on that cutlass and finish my galley knives? Yes, sir, but the boss... No arguing! First, they give me a tailor. I had to throw him overboard in a gunny sack. Then they gave me a schoolmaster. I made him walk the plank down in Panama. Now what do they send me for a galley boy, eh? Huh? A dancer! Throw away the longbow! Find your men, bring out those cats. Hard you, pup! Cookie, let a hand with those cats. Pat, son of I want them back aboard, filled with fresh water for the wind changers. There, there, oh, stop there. Come on, take a leg, you lazy lover. Go on. Come on, you lover. Get those cats over the rail. Come on. Come on take a leg. Hey, man. I've been planning. You said that when we got to California, I could... Oh, stop. been lazy arguments. Are you going to finish them galley knives? Yes. I've lost it. Shiver me timbers, I've lost it. It's gone. What? Gold lucky beast. I've carried it these 40, 20 years, man and boy. Oh, gold is it? Stand aside, you swab. If there's anything here, I want it. Yes, sir. Well, you get it. Quiet, Chucho. We're all troubled with fleas. The bites are just and the unjust alike.
Hey, what's the matter? Jim's father? Uh, Mama, I bet. Papa, you're crazy. Come on, let's just talk a little bit. You know, sit here. Lock yourself up. Mama's mama, Mama's. Blanca, Blanca. What is all that noise? I don't know. It must be something terrible, senorita. White cookie lets you ashore anyhow. Sit down. But anyway, they are upon us. Yeah, with fire and sword, they menace not only our possessions, but our sacred honor. Are we men? Oh, 
or are we mine? Shall we fight or shall we run? There. Your resolute faces give me the answer. Fight! <laughs> and if we ran, they'd only catch us anyway. So, in defense of your homes and your loved ones, I, Don Emilio Jose Maria Salazar y Perina, your alcalde, dedicate my sword. My sword, do I go where? Why, I can't dedicate my sword. Will you give me my sword? Yes, thank you very much. Where was I? I, I, Don Emilio. Ah, yes. Uh, I, Don Emilio Jose Maria Salazar Perina, dedicate my sword. <laughs> Si. We handle the artillery. Si. Men, get your weapons. Sons of Las Palomas, to arms! <laughs>
I'm not intruding, but... You better not say no how to die. I'm not afraid. You're not? I am. Do you think they leave us alone up here? I know your intentions. My intentions are to hide. These people are positively dangerous. Ah, ah! that's an excellent idea. No, no, she went not there. Is the senorita no. Oh, we can it. All right, will it hold together now? I guarantee. Yes, well, put a little more powder in this time. I could hardly hear it. If, it, if we do... Look, yeah. look, Juan Emilio. A pack of truth. Yes. And four dogs. Oh, well, did the pirates surrender? I don't think so. Oh. They're in your daughter's room. In my daughter's... What, already? <laughs> Mayor, do you want to be shot? Stop! I prefer death to your embrace. Don't do that. One step nearer and I'll... If you kill yourself now, you'll regret it. He's killing us! Stop that! Stop that! The pirate! But I'm not a pirate. Oh, did you think I was a pirate? My daughter! Where's my daughter? Father! Oh, oh. What did he do to you? Yes, yes, oh, tell me again, what, what the, he killed Bianca, you, I'll, I'll put you in jail, I'll, I'll hang you by your, I'll make it very uncomfortable for you, I insist, I'm not a pirate, don't lie to me, I guess I know a pirate when I see one, hey, Pompano, you get our fastest horse and ride to Monterey and tell them that we've caught the most dangerous pirate on the coast, don't send him to Monterey, what, we've caught him, yes, we're entitled to hang him ourselves, oh, no, no, I haven't got the authority, I, I, I uh, oh, uh, have I, yes, you are the Alcalde, Yes. You caught him. Yes. We will build the gallows right here in the plaza. Yes, well, if we could do that, I mean, it would be fine. Let's hang him ourselves. I demand a hearing. I reiterate, I'm not a pirate. You reiterate, now take him out. Okay, fire, fire, fire. 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 Fire, fire, he killed Blanca. He killed Serafina. He killed the alcalde. No, no. My children, fortunately, I'm not killed. Wounded a little, perhaps. But what's that to a soldier? <laughs>
Senor, I'm sorry. I am terribly sorry. You are only having one meal with us. Supper is our specialty. Pantilo! Pantilo! Oh. The sauce! You forgot the sauce! Senor, excuse me. I forgot the sauce here. Now, taste it. Isn't that much better? Yes. <laughs> Senor, I hate you piracy, but I admire you good taste. Senor Pantilo! Taste! Please, Senor, stand up. Step in. Gracias, Senor. Adiós. Adiós. That's all, Senor. Now you sit down. Sit down. Yeah. And eat these while it's hot, huh? You know that man Fernandez, he makes the most beautiful coffee. What is the matter, senor? Nothing. I'm not very hungry. He does not like my cooking. Oh, it is not that. He does not like me. You think I am not your friend because I wanted to hang you right away. But someday you'll thank me for saving you from that Don Baltazar. Don yes, he is the capitan of the guards up in Monterey. If we had sent you to him, he would have hanged you cruelly. But why should I be hanged at all? I'm not a pirate. I never was a pirate. I'm a dancing master. Viva Don Emilio! Oh, oh, senor, if you don't mind, it is time for us to go. Will you please do something for me? I'm in charge of this. When we were there, smile. See, si, senor. Adios. Here he comes. Here's the fire. I did it. Up below. If everything is ready, we can proceed in the usual manner. Uh, what is the usual manner? Well, Your Excellency, there are several methods. Yes. There is, but I'm going to use my own. Yes. First, I am going no, 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 to... No, no, don't tell me. Surprise me. Si, senor. Yes. Ernesto. Senor, are you ready? Si, senor. Vamos, Aquí, vamos, vamos. Are you comfortable, senor? This is really going too far. I stand on my right. I demand a hearing. Please, don't spoil everything. But, but I... Please. Musica! Ernesto! Senor, are you ready? What? The? I... Serafina! Over at the jail, Senoria gave him some cooked meat to eat. And he wouldn't touch it. That proves that she's a pirate. And him saying that she's a dancing master. He was a dancing master. I knew it. I, I believe him. Serafina! One. Two. Stop! Stop! Father! Father! What? I thought you didn't want to come. What's the matter now? Stop the hanging. He's not a pirate. What? He's a dancing master. A dancing? Who says so? He does. He does. Well, of course, he'd say anything to save his own neck. But it's true, sir. I am a dancing master. Oh, you don't look like a... He claims he's a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I am, and I can prove it. Oh, that's ridiculous. It is not ridiculous. Yes, it is. Easy, easy. Give him a chance. No, we haven't time. I've got to... We've... Father, you are being unjust. Unjust? I unjust? Well, I'm known as the most just. How can you, my own... As Alcalde of Las Palomas, I order you to prove your preposterous claim. And if you can't prove it, mind you, it'll, it will, uh, there'll be one of the music. Please, Senor.
Argentina. Come now, hurry up. Buenos días, buenos días, Emilio. Clumsiness. 
Now give me your hand. Male partner A faces female partner B. Now. One, two, three. Please don't bounce. One, two, three. Now return. One, two. Oh, no, Blanca, you must turn this way. One, two, three. You see? Now, if we were... Male partner A puts his arm around Blanca. Could it be possible that the world did act this way? Oh, no. But it is, look. Having a stain. Blanca, you wait here. I'll be right back. Then you're fighting. I've come to ask you a question. When, when you put your arm around me, it was necessary, wasn't it? It was part of the dance? Yes, senorita. You see, the walk is It's a, a turning dance. Yes, and, and it must be done... Must be done with abandon. Exactly. The female partner B can... Wait. Male partner A? the world.
us for what good fortune brings you here among us. The fortunes of a soldier, Bon Emilio. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> well, what news from Monterey? News from Monterey? <laughs> yes, how is my friend the governor? Oh, I didn't get the chance to see him. I had to leave on a short notice. Oh, oh you knew? Oh, well, that amazing. How did you find out so soon? We were going to hang him ourselves. Hang uh, him? Uh, yes, we had the plan all worked out. It was... But we found out that he was more of a dancer than a pirate. Pirate, eh? Yes, yeah, so under the circumstances, we thought that he shouldn't be hanged here. We thought he shouldn't be hanged in Monterey. As a matter of fact, I don't think he should be hanged anywhere. Well, Don Emilio, that is for the proper authorities to decide. Oh, yes, well, I wouldn't. i turn him over to you if I... Must, but I wish you'd tell the governor to let him dance before he hangs him. Oh, I do, my men. Chago, take charge of the prisoner. Here, governor. Soldados, we are on official business here, and if you just give us provisions to continue our journey. Oh, How about the town? Oh, my daughter, Sarafina, Don Baltazar. Oh, but we cannot let you return to Monterey without granting us the pleasure of entertaining you. Senorita, it will delight me beyond the world. But the time we cannot stay, we must go. Oh, but just for a little while? As long as you want to. We'll stay. Hear me, Capitan. Yes, it's a splendid. <laughs> Let's go inside. Senorita? I have a couple of bottles of old... <laughs> Martin! 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 <laughs> <laughs> the payment, senor. Tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but ten days ago you said tomorrow. Isn't that all right? senor. <laughs> This Alcalde certainly knows how to live. What is that? Bring me some more water. Good and hot. You think this is quite right? A man of my standing with his feet in a hand basin? Well, at least I could have enough water and then make it good and hot. Yes. Well, go on and go to the And for heaven's sake, close that door. I'm catching my death of... Ah, uh, give me the hot water. No, no, senor. This is the hot. This is very cold. Take it for the alcalde. Yes. Wow. Good. Juan, Juan, bring that hot water here. Hurry. No, I'm freezing to death. No. Yes, give it to me. Oh, 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 come on, who told you? That was hot. What hospitality? You have enjoyed it long enough. You told the man that we would stay two days, and it has been two weeks. What if we stay two months, two years? You wouldn't expect me to leave 400,000 acres of land. They are not yours yet. Oh, no. Not while that dancing pirate keeps on giving those lessons. Ah, didn't I tell you? You are going to take him back to Monterey. Monterey? Are you out of your mind? We cannot go back there. The Monterey, I mean, is just beyond the cemetery. Oh. Where is my back scratcher? Excellencia, yeah. Don Baltasar is using. Don Baltasar? Whose back comes first around here, anyway? The host or the guest? That I'd like to... No, I... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Still, he's a Noriega, a very distinguished visitor. Down, a little left. Yes. Uh, I suppose hospitality is more than skin deep, huh? Yes. Down a little further. Uh, yes. Uh, he's a very nice fellow, after all. Come on, hurry up. Hey, more olives. Listen up, come on. You keep on working. 
working now. I'll be back. Now, sit down and take a look. You're tired. No, no, you must not help me. They nearly caught you yesterday. Never mind that. You rest. Disappointing news for you. Blanca has sprained her ankle practicing the wall. She comes home with us today. My heart is bleeding for Blanca's ankle. But of course it gives me a chance to be alone with you before I go. Oh, you mustn't think of going. I insist that you stay. Shall I accept that as my order? As a request from my father. I am sorry I take orders only from my superior officer. You command me, Senorita. Please stay. It will make me very happy. Far happier than I care to have you known. Mama, you watch for the soldiers. Ah. Chicken with rice. A nice little mouthful for you and the chief. You taste it. I'll do this. Gracias, senor. Ah, this is too good for the prisoners. We are the guests. Get back on the wheel. Oh, Senor Chago, my prisoners cannot go hungry. Tell you to treat these people kindly? Uh, he should have been hanged long ago. That's up to the court in Monterey. Take a detail of soldiers. Start with them. For Monterey? Yes. I am remaining here as order. Don't bother you're forgetting my dancing lesson. I am sorry. I have to send him. I have delayed too long. But tonight, a last lesson. It takes three duenas to watch one couple. Someone ought to be in the kitchen eating the roast chicken and drinking those bottles of wine. And the fun. Oh, oh. Perhaps it knows our dance is over. It's a pity. I was going to ask you to keep it. In Monterey, you see, there will be no Alcali's daughter who wants to learn the waltz. Juanito, you're not going to Monterey. I'm not? Who decided that? I did. Pampilo is waiting by the garden. He will show you the way through the hills. So you're sending me away? Yes, there's no time to lose. You must leave now. Then must I go alone? No, no. Pampilo will guide you. But I'm not in love with Pampilo. I have a much better plan. You show me the way. Oh, but that is impossible. How could I go with you? Just by saying, I love you.
<laughs> Judy brought me love of peace. Ah, well, love and beauty. <laughs> Serafina bears fruit on my family tree. She combines the grace of the Salazars with the brains of the Salazars and the spirit of the Salazars and a mother's cooking. To a man with my delicate sensibilities, she has but one problem. Uh, what? The rest. Oh, oh, well, don't let that. You know, what? 300,000 acres. 400,000 acres, you said? Uh, oh, dear, uh, well, 350 acres. That's too much, too much for a simple soldier. Oh, I, what could I do with 60,000 head of cattle? Well, you could sell uh, 30,000. 60,000, you said? Oh, well. Would the cows have calves next year? I mean, 30,000 cows uh, of uh, calf apiece at the, uh, the, for uh, 60? Oh, that's a bargain. The wedding in San Diego, the honeymoon in Boston. Oh, wait till you see my aunt. Senora Price. Senora, Senora, Juanito Price. That sounds nice. Wait, wait here. To the union of the Noriegas and Paladar, and <laughs> to the bride who awaits us upon. Ah, to the... Wait a minute, aren't we going a little fast with this? I mean, how do I... How do we know she loves you? How can you question me? Well, I... Didn't she invite me to stay where she first laid eyes on me? Uh, yes, that's right. She... I, that was a beautiful horse you rode. Didn't she detain me day by day? Uh, yes, I remember I argued with her about that. I, and when you took my bath tub, I, I got... Two weeks of soft looks and sighs. What does it mean? Uh, oh, oh, what does it mean? The girl is madly in love with me. Uh, yeah, oh, man, uh, she's crazy in love with you. And after all, who... Am I to stand between two lovers that I've fall? Oh, I've been an awful brute. Father. Uh, son. Shall we go up? Uh, oh, yes, let We can, uh, while we're... we're going to try it again. Oh. <laughs> and furthermore, your costume's just right. It's the, the skating wall on the ice, naturally. And uh, December's very cold up north. Uh, let's try it. One, two, three. One, two, three. You see, the lads and maidens gather on the village pond. <laughs> and they sit in Thank you. You may go now. Will you please go? Pompil is waiting for you. Where are the guards who brought him? Pedro, come on. I think the kitchen having something to eat. Pompil will take him back. Oh, will you please go now? Oh, no, wait a minute. Before you go, do you think that you could teach me the waltz in one lesson? I'd like to dance it at Serafina's wedding. <laughs> My wedding? Uh, yes, I, I wanted you to be the first to hear. Don Balthazar did me the honor of asking for your hand. And I did him the honor of accepting, and you have the honor of being engaged to him. I decline <laughs> the honor. Oh, you can't do it. You mean you don't love my son-in-law? But you, that's what you... Well, you told me that she was madly in love with you. I meant love often blossoms off, didn't it? That's right, I blossomed. him. <laughs> well, why did you keep him here day after day, if not to marry him? She kept him here to save my neck. Now you know. It does not surprise me. She probably believes you innocent. She has a soft, womanly heart. Then, Don Balthazar, you will not... I can do nothing except, of course, my duty. Don Emilio, 
A moment ago, you heard your daughter refuse this man. Uh, you, uh, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Well, you're not going to force her to marry him. But certainly not. I wouldn't. You think that I'd make my daughter, uh, uh, and especially with Don Balthazar, not if she got down on her knees and begged. I would. Uh, what kind of a man do you think I am? A gentleman. A gentleman who has given his word. Oh, my word? Uh, did I? Well, after the sixth bottle, I don't seem to remember. But if I gave the word of a Salazar, But you can't bargain away your daughter's happiness. No gentleman would force a woman to marry him. You are bizarre. Take him away. After this. Isabella, the seamstress, to come tomorrow. Tell the bootmaker to come. And the girls who will embroider my bridal veil. Senorita. Oh, but wait a minute. There's no need for such haste. I mean, because I have a few drinks with the man. That's no reason to rush into matrimony. And after all, how do you know that he'll make us happy? Let us have a gay wedding. The gayest. Let everybody be happy. Everybody. Even the pirate, free, on his way to Boston? That's a wedding present. You haven't got any Spanish blood in you. You'll have a sore in your hand instead of this umbrella, and you'll die fighting for your woman. Oh, I left my bag inside. Huh? Would you mind? See. Comfortable? Is your mount to your satisfaction? It's a pity we couldn't furnish you with a horse, but they were all needed for the men. You may go now. Chago! That umbrella looks awfully heavy. If he hit Balthazar over the head with it, I... Well... Couldn't marry a man with a broken head. Well, what are you waiting for? Perhaps you did not hear me. I told you to go. And I think it's only fair to warn you if you are ever caught again around here, there is a price on your head. Five hundred gold pieces. Why is he? If he had broken the umbrella over his head, I'd have. Gladly bought him a new one. Hurry up. Well. Come 
in. Where are they? Where? Come. Ready to fight. First, they must learn war dance. Learn it? What kind of Indians are they? Peaceful Indians. Their weapons are the rope. They don't know war dance. I'll make them dance. We share, we share alike. Every man for himself. Don Baltazar is getting his share. Yes, he is. I wish I never followed him out of Monterrey. Me too. Just because the governor kicked him out of the army is no reason why. Shut up. You want the whole village to hear it? Yeah. But just the same, what are we getting out of it? Oh, imbecile. A few minutes more and this whole rancho will be ours. Then we will milk it like it was a cow. Listen, I don't spy. No, no, no. Okay. You can't hold me. You are not real soldiers. The captain is not real captain. I'll call the help. Stop the wedding. Now stop the wedding. While we are here, let anybody stop the wedding. Eh? Yeah. <laughs>
postpone the ceremony. Finish the pirates. Here, come. Oh, it's you, eh? You are discourteous, my friend. You have interrupted my wedding. We will have to teach you better manner. We? Oui? I'm afraid you're alone this time. What? Oh. oh. See me, Capitan. <laughs> and dancing, isn't it?